Fans of music have a love-hate reaction to Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. I never listened to his music because I don't like him. But when I heard his 2015 song, Love Yourself, I'm embarrassed to say I did not hate it. In fact, the song gave me chills. This is surprisingly common. It turns out people don't always know what music makes them feel good. Music is a huge part of our everyday life, but we don't know much about what it does to our body other than making us wanna dance. For my PhD, I decided to dive deep into understanding the impact music has on the brain. I do this with the help of artificial intelligence or AI. As a researcher, I ask my participants to sit down, listen to music such as Love Yourself whilst wearing a watch and headset. These devices record physiological signals such as the sweat glands on skin, heart rate, and brain waves. My participants' physiological signals look like this. Using this data, I have built an AI system that learns from participants' physiological responses as they listen to music. The system then predicts the emotions they are feeling almost better than they can. 96% of the time, my system knows what genre of music you're listening to and how it's making you feel. Now that's groovy, but why does this matter? Those sudden chills and tingles music makes you feel have an effect on your neural activity. For people with musicogenic epilepsy, certain music can trigger the super fast neural oscillations called gamma waves, which play a crucial role in causing seizures. I'm interested in knowing more about this. Using AI, my system accurately learns which music is firing gamma waves and that helps me to understand the impact that has on people with musicogenic epilepsy. In the future, advanced wearable technology such as your smartwatch or headphones will measure your physiological signals and recommend songs to improve your emotional well-being. Imagine listening to Spotify for your health. And more significantly, this knowledge could alert people who are sensitive to certain neural oscillations to avoid music that could trigger epileptic seizures. It turns out, my brain is a Bieber fan. With my research, you will discover which artists your brain is a fan of, even if you're not, and hopefully keep dancing thanks to computer science.